Welcome back to this video tutorial. In this video, we can start learning about the basics of cache mapping in a simplified manner. So, for that, we can consider here a one memory system, a main memory system with total of 64 different memory words in it. Okay, a main memory with 64 different memory words. They are represented here like this W0, W1, W2, W3, etc. up to this W63, total 64 different words. This 64 can be also represented like this as a power of 2. That is due to the power 6 is actually this 64. Okay, so the question is how many minimum bits required for addressing each of these 64 words uniquely? That means we need to consider the address of each of these words in its binary format. So the question is how many minimum bits are required for addressing each of these words uniquely. So from this particular uh, representation total 64 different words are available. We can also call it as 2 to the power 6 different words. So from this particular representation uh, it is clear that Six minimum bits are required for addressing each of these 64 word uniquely. Right? And the address values ranging from 0 to 63. Address value starting from 0 and the last address value is 63. So, for addressing each of these memory words uniquely, we require a minimum of 6 bits in its binary representation. Okay. So, next uh, from this diagram, it is clear that all these memory words are grouped to form different memory blocks. Okay. And here assumed the block size as 4 words. Okay. So, here the total 64 different memory words are available and the 64 uh, words are grouped to form different memory blocks and the block size is assumed as four words right so that the first block that is this zeroth block with uh, four different memory words what are they the zeroth word first word second word third word and the next block with four consecutive memory words like fourth word fifth word sixth word seventh word Right. So, total how many such memory blocks are possible in this particular memory system? Question is, how many such blocks are possible in this particular memory system? Here, the main memory with total 64 different words. We need to form different memory block with size equal to 4. So, how many such blocks are possible in this memory system? That is 64 words divided by this 4. That is total 64 by 4 is 16. Total 16 different blocks are possible here. Each with 4 different words. Right. So we can address each of these blocks using B0, B1, B2. That means we can address uh, these blocks 16 different blocks using four different bits because total 16 different blocks are possible 16 is actually 2 raised to 4 so four different address bits are used for addressing each of these blocks and the address values ranging from 0 to 15 okay now we can consider the next type of memory that is the cache memory Okay, the cache memory is always smaller in size while comparing with the size of our main memory. Okay, here it is assumed the cache memory size is 16 words. That means this cache memory can hold a maximum of 16 words at a time. Maximum it can hold 16 different words. Okay, and this cache memory... Uh, uh, just like here this main memory blocks inside this cache memory we can also consider different cache blocks right that, uh, that cache blocks are also called as cache lines 
cache memory can also be divided into different blocks such cache blocks are also called cache lines okay and one more point we need to uh, keep in your mind that is this main memory block size must be comes in match with the cache block size main memory block size must be comes in match with the cache line or cache block size so here cache memory with total 16 words and the cache line or the cache block size must match with the main memory block size the block size is given as four words so the cache line size or the cache block size must be also equal to this four words now the task is to find how many such cache lines are possible in this cache memory the cache memory capacity is given here 16 words and each cache line with size equal to this four words so the question is how many such cache lines or cache blocks possible here with this given data so number of cache lines possible equal to cache size divided by block size block size means the block size is equal to the cache size cache block size or cache line size okay this block size must be matched with the cache lines cache line size okay so in order to calculate the number of cache lines possible here use this formula cache size divided by this block size that is 16 divided by this 4 so how many uh, cache lines are possible for cache lines okay so now we can consider four different cache lines here we can name it as line 0 line 1 line 2 and line 3 okay so the same principle here four different cache lines or cache blocks are possible how many minimum bits are required for addressing each of these uh, cache lines here total four lines are possible okay four means two to the power two so total two bits are required for addressing each of these cache lines uniquely so keep all these property in your mind so with the help of this information we can easily learn about the various cache mapping function okay so in our next video we can consider all the cache mapping function one after another thank you